Since subject heading searches provide more relevant results for your research questions, let me show you how to perform a subject heading search. There are two methods for finding subject headings. In this video, we will learn how to find subject headings using a thesaurus. While not all databases have a thesaurus, many with this EBSCOhost logo do. However, the thesaurus may have a different name based on the database you use. Sometimes the thesaurus is called subject terms, subjects, or subject classification. Remember that we're looking for subject headings, so anything with the word subject in it would be a good place to look. If we use the research question, what are the effects of meditation on stress in college students, then we will use each of the key words, meditation, stress, and college students, to find subject headings and perform a subject heading search. I am going to search within the psychology database called PsychInfo. And in this database, the thesaurus is called the APA Thesaurus of Psychological Index Terms. Let's start with meditation. I will use this search bar to browse subject headings related to meditation. So I'll type in meditation and click browse. Meditation is the top result. And when I click on it, I get more information. For example, I get a definition of meditation. And I can see related subject headings to make sure I have chosen the right term. After reading these choices, I realize that I actually want to search for mindfulness specifically, rather than meditation as a whole. So I'll check off mindfulness and click add. You will notice that the term has been added to the search box at the top with the letters DE, which signals that this search is not a normal keyword search, but instead it is a subject heading search. This ensures that mindfulness is a major theme in all of your article results, rather than a word that's only mentioned a few times. Okay, let's keep going. We're going to add more subject headings to our search, so let's go back to the browsing search bar and enter the word stress. There are several results related to stress, so make sure to read the definitions and choose the best one. I am looking for stress in general, so I will check off stress. I need to click add to add this subject heading to my search, but I first need to change the Boolean connector. Or, and, and not are basic connectors for multiple ideas. If you don't want to search for a certain subject heading, use the not option. If you want to search for multiple subject headings together, then use the AND option. And if you want at least one subject heading used, then use the OR option. I want all three subject headings used in each search result to get the most relevant articles for my research question. So I will choose the AND option and click ADD. If I find that the connector AND provides very few results, then I can always go back and change it to OR. In the top search box, you can see that the subject heading stress was added. Now we only have one more word to search. So let's enter college students in the browsing search box and click browse. My research question is focusing on college students as a whole. So I will just check off college students and make sure that the connector is and, then click add. Now you can see that all of my keywords were changed into subject headings and are all in the search box. I can then click search to see my results. I now have a manageable number of articles to look through for my literature review. And after reviewing these results, I can always go back to the thesaurus and conduct a new search with related subject headings. To summarize, I use the thesaurus to find accurate subject headings that represent the main themes in which my articles were labeled under. And I added subject headings to the search bar to perform an all subject heading search, which provided me 
with relevant and manageable results. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please ask a librarian.